Hi, everybody. Pastor Jason back with you once again for another Wednesday Reflection. As I was preparing for this evening's message to you, one word kept coming to mind. The word, thankful. We live in a world so often that is filled with complaining and critiques, tearing down and bringing division instead of encouraging and building up. A simple thank you goes such a long way. So in the midst of all these things, the word thankful came to my heart, and I pray it comes to your heart this day as well. Words of Paul to the church at Philippi. I thank my God in all my remembrance of you, always and every prayer of mine for you, all making my prayer with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to feel this way about you all, because I hold you in my heart, for you are partakers with me of grace. I love this text because Paul speaks first and foremost about how thankful he is to God for the partnership that he had with this early church in spreading the glorious gospel message of Jesus. I'm sure the people of Philippi, when they read this, had a smile on their face as Paul wrote these words, such an important person in the beginning of their church, sharing these words of thanksgiving to them. I do the same thing for you this night. Just as Paul was thankful to God for the partnership that he had with the church of Philippi and many others, I want to let you know how thankful I am for you. Even though some of you I may have never spoken with before, I still know you and I pray for you. And I'm so thankful for the ministry which he has given to me through this means and many others. I especially like the section that I read towards the end. It is right for me to feel this way about you all because I hold you in my heart. It seems like so often this day we find not warmth, but, but a lot of coldness. A lot of people who just don't want to talk about stuff and, and take the risk of, of sharing the pains of their heart. It seems like more and more with our technologies that we continue to find ourselves less connected, even though we have all these technologies which are supposed to connect us all the more. I want to share with you this night that I so appreciate you all that you are in your families, in your friendships, at work, in your home. God has put you there for a reason. And I thank you for it. I thank you that he has you in that place. And I pray that you hold him close to your heart. Knowing that what he has begun in you, the wonderful gift of faith, he will bring it to completion on his day and at his time. This past couple weeks, we've had three of our beloved go be with Jesus. We have flowers that adorn our altar from two of them. And I thank God for them, the light of Christ that was in them, and the light of Christ that is in you. I thank you for that. I thank you for that which God has begun in you. Don't forget how precious you are in his sight, I hold you in my heart. You're very important to me. And I pray that you know that, even though I'm coming to you through a camera. It doesn't matter how this is being communicated. It doesn't change how I feel or the prayers that I have for you. Paul had these people in his heart because he loved them and cared for them because he knew the struggles and the battles that they were going through in their faith as this early church was being planted. It's been almost 24 years since I was called to start a church plant in Illinois. And I'm so thankful for the many people that I still get to read about through this technology. I keep them in my heart, even though it's been many years since I last served them 
as a pastor. What a joy it is for me to be here in this place at this time. I hold the people of Mount Olive in my heart as well as I'm blessed to serve them as their pastor. I thank God every day for the abundant blessings which he has given to me. I don't deserve them in and of myself. I fall short of the glory of God each and every day. And yet the one word that sticks out towards the end of this little text that Paul writes to this church in Philippi, I'm thankful for as well this day. The word grace. God has gifted me with a lot of grace in bringing blessing upon blessings of family and friendship of a church of families throughout the country, throughout the world. What a joy it is for me this night to simply be thankful. Thankful that God has me at this place and at this time. Thankful that we're ready to start a new Lutheran school here. What a risk and yet what a joy to know that God's hand is in the midst of this all. The countless blessings that have come already. I continue to pray for the hearts of those who I haven't even had a chance to meet yet, that will grace our door as they bring the little ones to us to hear of God's grace to them. I can't even begin to understand the mark that God is gonna use through these young lives and through our teachers and through the years yet to come to bring thankful hearts to homes, to workplaces, to play in dates, and so many other places. Indeed, truly a lot to be thankful for. You and I are partakers in this. It gives God great joy to know that his people not only believe and listen and learn, are forgiven, but that we're thankful for those around us as well. So tonight as I leave you, I pray a thankful thought. May your heart be warmed by the presence of our Savior Jesus. May you be thankful, even in the midst of the difficulties that you might be going through at this time. Your God is faithful. He hasn't left you if you're feeling like you're alone this very night. His presence is most certainly there. As always, I'm here for you. Thankful for our time together. If you have any questions or concerns or you're feeling like you need to talk to someone, I am always ready, willing, and able to listen and to share God's word of love and peace. I pray of some comfort as well, knowing that he's put me in this place and I'm extremely thankful for it. Again, I'm thankful this night for what God has brought me to, even what God has brought me through over my life, the countless people that I call friends and brothers and sisters in Christ because of what God has done, bringing me to them, bringing them to me. I'm thankful for you and I'm praying for you that as God holds you in his hands, as we are partakers in the gospel, partakers in his grace, that you might grow in that grace and to share those words of thankfulness with others. To not be the one who divides and critiques and complains only, but one who encourages, one who builds up others in love so that they might be thankful for what they have as well. May God be with you as you thank him for all the things you have. May we learn and grow in his love this day and always.